First of all, welcome back to Lawton Park, Gus, for 2010. What can you tell us about the uh, the current squad you have this season? Well, uh, having looked at last year, and um, we finished credibly in the middle of the table after a horrific start. We had seven serious injuries, and I've tapered back sort of pre-season to try and get the players fresh for the start of the season. We've not played as many uh, tough practice matches, uh, and I'm quite pleased with the way the boys are, are, are coming up. Uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm. Quite excited for the new season. We've um, signed a striker, uh, Matty Durant, um, and I think for the first time since uh, Liam Caffrey and Greg Kilner were here, uh, we've got two natural goal scorers, which uh, that was never a problem last year. Scoring goals wasn't a problem. Uh, the real problem we had was we were leaking goals. Uh, so I've ob obviously um, tried to tighten that up also. Uh, we signed Danny Black from Richmond, the Premier League player, uh, right back. Uh, young Joe Dunnicky, a uh, good prospect uh, in the central defence. Uh, we've signed Chris Driver, a very good technical player from Southern Stars, uh, who I've admired for a long time. Uh, our boy Ray Markley, a boy who played with Heidelberg last year, he had five senior games, a uh, young boy, very mobile. And I think uh, the mobility of the side at the moment um, is for everybody to see. And uh, if we can stay clear of injuries, um, then I think we'll uh, enjoy the season. Uh, you need a lot of luck before um, you know actually doing anything uh, half decent, whether it be injuries, as I say, which is a, the massive problem, and also um, a bit of luck. OK, and what can you tell me about... Uh and I know it's early days, but what about uh, predictions? Uh... Well, what, the, the most important thing for Lang One, who it took us 11 years to become the number one club in the peninsula. Uh, if you remember when we first started, we were in Division Four, and uh, Seafords, Karingos, Strikers, Pines, they were all, you know, well above us. So we've, we've got to a stage in the last three or four years where we've sort of cemented ourselves and balanced everything up to do with what goes on off the field and on the field um, and uh, the, way it's, the way it's shaping up, I'll, um, I'll be uh, trying to keep the club uh, first and foremost in first division which is very, very important and after that um, I'm, I'll, I'll be saying to myself through about the halfway mark, um, we're looking good and because uh, uh, I'm, I'm quite excited for the new season uh, with the change of personnel we've got um, and that's no disrespect to MD that's left, you know. What, what, what sort of what, what sort of aims do you basically have for the? Uh... Oh look, uh, it's it's like anything. As a coach, you're always trying to uh, finish one two, which gets you promotion. And I think the club is now geared up. Uh, I think we've just been um, sitting and balancing things out, as I say. Uh, but as far as my aims, obviously with the players, uh, we'll be going out to win every game. And if it, and if we manage to uh, have a good run, uh, which we did in patch last year um, I think we'll uh, I think we'll go very very well and, and just on last uh, last season what do you think the uh, the squad will need to improve on to uh, to make things a little you know well uh, what was the probably the injuries and, and that's no making excuses you know when you get six or seven defenders out and you're trying uh, forwards or midfielders they're not defensive minded and it, it cost us very late in some of the games that we played in uh, so that's the idea um, yeah, uh, I think we'll just go to tighten up a wee bit. We used to be a very feared team for them to come to Langmorn, and unfortunately, I think we uh, were too soft at Langmorn. Uh, so that's one of our aims is to make sure that we're uh, tough, and, and when teams come up to Langmorn, we get back to the old days where Langmorn was a very strong side at home. And if we can pick up uh, another two or three games, then that puts you in there, puts you in the mix. Good, thanks very much, Gus. And just one other final question. How do you keep Man United from signing Ben Caffrey? Um, he's now, he's, he's, he's lost about nine kilos. Um, and to be quite honest, and this is a personal opinion, I don't think there's anybody more skillful than Ben Caffrey in, the, in, our, in our league. And, and he could play uh, Premier League, uh, without a doubt. Uh, he's now got himself uh, fit and losing the weight that, that he did have. Um, I'm expecting a big season off Ben, and he's, and so people know he's been a tremendous servant to, to Langmorn, and uh, and he's a lovely character, um, and I wish to goodness we had some more like him uh, at Langmorn. All right, Gus, thank you very much, and all the best for the new season. Thanks very much.